How will we define congruence of angles? In this figure, we have one pair of angles. Angle ABC is 40 degree and angle PQR is also 40 degree. Now, if you superpose angle PQR over angle ABC, then what will happen? This vertex Q will exactly cover vertex B and this vertex R or say arm QR, let me draw it like this. When you will try to cover this, it will come something like this. In this case, even arms are also equal, okay? So it will come something like this. Arms are equal and angles, this QP is also equal to AB and QR is also equal to BC and 40 degree and 40 degree. So B will be covered by Q, Take with some darker color Q, P will cover A and C will be covered by R. So applying superposition method that is if, if, if you superpose angle PQR or angle ABC then angle ABC will be completely covered by angle PQR and why because angles are same. Therefore we will say that measure of angle ABC is equal to measure of angle PQR and therefore and therefore angle ABC angle ABC is congruent to angle PQR okay this is important this is congruence of two angles okay now in the next figure here this is another pair. In this pair of angles, angle ABC is 40 degree, but angle PQR is actually 60 degree. Therefore, in this case, in this case, measure of angle ABC is not equal to, is not equal to measure of angle PQR. Therefore, angle ABC and angle PQR are not congruent, are not congruent, okay? So that's important thing. Now, since they are not congruent, so what will happen? If you try to superpose angle PQR or angle ABC, then yes, vertex Q will come here, right? And maybe even QR will cover it here. QR will cover it if the arms are equal, but this arm QP will go something like this. And why it's happening? Because the angles are different. Okay, so that's why we'll say that angle ABC is not congruent to angle PQR. Let's take another angle. In this case, angle XYZ is 40 degree, but the thing is, that it's also 40 degree. Sorry, XYZ is 40 degree, but the thing is that the arms, if you compare with these two angles, its arms are longer, right? This YX, this YX is longer than this AB and QP, and this YZ, this YZ arm is longer than BC and QR. So will this angle XYZ be congruent to angle ABC and PQR? Yes, it will be. It doesn't matter how long an arm is, okay? What matters is the measure of angle. So if angle XYZ is 40 degree, angle ABC is 40 degree and angle PQR is also 40 degree, if you apply superposition position method, and if you try to superpose XYZ over ABC and PQR, then it will exactly cover the complete angle. The only thing will be that this arm is since longer, therefore it will cross this arm. But the length of the arm doesn't matter. What matters is the angle because the arm only tells the direction in which the angle is, right? Therefore, whenever you have to check whether two or more angles are equal or not, then what matters is 
the angle, the measure of angles and not the length of the arm. Okay. So, even in this case, you will say that since, since measure of angle x, y, z is equal to measure of angle a, b, c is equal to measure of angle p, q, r. Therefore, angle x, y, z is congruent to is congruent with angle a, b, c is congruent to angle p, q, r. That is angle x, y, z, a, b, c and p, q, r are congruent. But if I include one more angle, in this case you have angle T U V, okay, and it's something like this, but it's still the measure is also 40 degree. So will it be also congruent with these angles to these angles? Exactly. The thing is, what matters is the measure of angle and not the way the angle has been represented, okay. So even in this case, if you rotate this angle and when you will try to superpose this with this vertex U at which 40 degree is being made, then it will completely cover this vertex P and this arm will cover this one and this arm will cover this one. Doesn't matter what are the lengths of the arms and doesn't matter how this angle is oriented in this space. Okay, so yes, this angle that is measure of angle T U V is equal to measure of angle X Y Z is equal to measure of angle A B C is equal to measure of angle P Q R. Therefore, angle T U V is congruent with angle X Y Z is congruent with angle A, B, C is congruent with angle P, Q, R. These all angles are congruent. Okay, these all are congruent. Therefore, if two or more angles are equal, if two or more angles are equal, then the angles will be congruent, congruent. And if someone tells you that the angles are congruent, then also the reverse will be true. That is, if equal, then congruent. If congruent, it means that, yes, they are equal. Both these two things mean the same. So it was all about congruence of angles. In the next video, we will learn about congruence of triangles.